Ohio Republicans are upset that they have to deal with legal cannabis, and they're looking to hate on something. Governor Mike DeWine is stomping his feet and crying to everyone in Congress about, of all things, Delta 8 THC, the most legal of the THCs. So strap in there, Buckeyes. Let's try to wrap our heads around this one, huh? So what is Delta 8 in the first place, right? It's THC alternative and one of the most popular cannabinoids out there, and it's one of the few that can actually get you high. What, what can I say? She's got it going on, right? They call it weed light because the effects you notice are about half as strong as the classic Delta 9 THC. But she's a really foxy lady because they make Delta 8 from hemp, which was legalized in 2018 with a farm bill that Trump signed into law. Hemp is rich in CBD, so that's when we started seeing CBD products pop up everywhere. And with a little tinkering, CBD turns into Delta 8. So it lives in this loophole where it's totally legal, but it still gets you high. So in places where marijuana is still illegal, Delta-8 is an opportunity for patients who can't access THC to still benefit from its effects. So people are out there using it to treat chronic health issues and pain. One guy even said Delta-8 helps him kick booze and pills and navigate his way back to sobriety. But in Ohio, where cannabis was just fully legalized by popular ballot, the governor, Mike DeWine, is stomping up and down the aisles demanding that they ban weed light while they legalize normal marijuana. Uh, but he might have a point, though. He says it's super easy for minors to access. Kids can just walk into any gas station and buy Delta-8 gummies. They're packaged to look like candy for children. That loophole it lives in means it's totally unregulated, so they don't watch how strong it is or who buys it. There's been 257 reports of Delta-8 poisoning in minors, and DeWine says he would be very happy to buy, ban Delta-8 entirely. But that decision ain't exactly up to him. He's tried to push through different restrictions before, but he technically can't pass any of those laws without the support of Congress. So for now, the hemp laws aren't too likely to change anytime soon. That Congress is currently tied up modifying and mutilating issue number two, the ballot that the people passed to legalize marijuana. He's seen if he can at least restrict it to licensed dispensaries, but Delta 8 retailers are like, what the hell, man? It's ridiculous for the lawmakers to even think of considering taking this away.